is that? What are we looking for? Anything. But why are we spying on Miss Wolf? David, look. How do you think people like Miss Wolf and Dad got to be such great writers? They observed life. That's what we are doing. Don't you want to be a great writer like Dad and Miss Wolf and me? Zachary, you're not a great writer. Well, I'm gonna be. <gasps> this is a bad idea, Zach. Look, if you don't want to be here, then go home. I don't want to go home. Then be quiet. Dad is not going to like this. Dad doesn't have to know. We're going to get caught. No, we're not. Oh, yes, you are. <gasps> <gasps> Within my rights to press charges against these two. Come on, Margaret, they're just kids. <laughs> right. Kids today. Hoodlums tomorrow? Look, they shouldn't have been on your property. I agree with that, and I will talk to them about it. Oh, it's going to take me forever to get my thoughts back. Well, you as a fellow writer should understand the delicate nature of the creative process. Yes, I do understand, believe me. And I apologize once again. You're not going to call the police, are you, Miss Wolf? No. Not as long as your father assures me that it won't happen again. Especially when I'm out of town. I assure you, Margaret. They won't be back on your property without your permission. Very well. Good day, then. To your room. Both of you. I'll be up there in a second. Nice going, guys. Quiet, Lepton. David, do not call your sister a Lepton. Sorry. Lepton. Got me in trouble again, Zach. I'm not gonna listen to you anymore. Okay, guys, let's hear it. What possessed you to sneak around Miss Wolf's house? You know better than that. It was Zach's idea. Yeah, but you have a mind of your own. You didn't have to follow him, right? Zach, stop writing and turn around. What were you thinking? You said that if I wanted to be a writer, I had to learn how to observe life. I was observing! Creeping around someone's house and observing are two different things, right? Right. Your aunt's here. Why don't you go say hi? Aunt Sarah is here! Hi, Aunt Sarah! David looks up to you, Zach. You know that. Try to remember to always give him a good example to follow. Okay? Okay. Awesome! Who are they? Oh, you're funny. You wouldn't believe what else. What? I finished my dissertation. 55 That's pages. Awesome. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> I stayed up the entire night to get it done. I'm really proud of you, sis. Thanks, big bro. Hi, Aunt Sarah. Hey, Zach. How's that mystery story of yours coming along? It's coming along, I guess. Did you stop by just to visit? Your dad's got a meeting and big sis here will be out with friends, so I'll be watching you two guys for the evening. Yay! You sure you're okay with this, Sarah? I mean, you've been up all night. No, don't worry about me. I'm fine. You're positive. Come on. I've already had five cups of coffee. A poppy field a mile wide couldn't put me to sleep. Should we wake her up?
Nah, let her sleep. Zach, what was mom like? I don't remember. That's because you were only one when she died. I know. I don't really remember either, except maybe her smile. She was always smiling, I think, and laughing. Something's up. Stay here. I'll be right back. What? Where are you going? I'm just going outside for a second. Shh! Just be quiet. Lucas, you could have been seen. No one saw me. I was careful. Yes, but we agreed we wouldn't meet again until the deal was done. That's what I came to tell you, Margaret. The deal is done. It's over. What are you talking about? It's not over until I say so. I'm in charge of this production. It's my manuscript. It was your manuscript. Now it belongs to me. No, Lucas, you can't. Oh! What do you think I should do? Well, if what you're saying is true... If... Then we need to tell Dad. <laughs> no way! Dad'll kill me! Zach. And besides, I have to be sure. Wait, you just said you saw... I did! I mean, I didn't see everything. No one's gonna believe me unless I have proof. What do you mean, proof? Look. I really don't think you saw what you said. See, you, saw. you don't even believe me. Zach, you've made up crazy stories like this before. I was just a kid then. <laughs> Zachary, you're a kid now. But I know I don't want you going back over there. Chelsea. I mean it. Do not go over there again. If you do, I will tell Dad. Seriously. I will. Okay, okay. I heard what you told Chelsea, but I'm not gonna tell Dad. You're right, he will kill you, but not for real. <clears throat> David, what do you want? I want you to make me your assistant. It'll be just like Sherlock Holmes and Watson. No way. This could be too dangerous. Come on. I'll be careful, I promise. Plus, you need my help. Fine. But you have to do everything I say exactly as I tell you. Got it? Got it. Remember, we have to be bold. Bold, right. That's how we catch him off guard and get him off balance. Off guard, off balance, check. And when he's off balance, he'll be clumsy and we'll make a mistake. That's how we get proof. Excellent. So how do we do all that? Good question. I've got it! Let me see 
it. I saw what you did and you won't get away with it? If this doesn't scare him into making a mistake, nothing will. Stay here. Wait, what? Why don't you let me go? No way. Zach, you promised. No, I didn't. You I promised I could be your assistant. I never. <clears throat> Fine, okay, whatever. But listen to me. You have to be quick and you have to be careful. Quick and careful, got it. Quick and careful, quick and careful, quick and careful. Okay, quick good, you got quick. it, now be quiet. Quick, careful and quiet. Quick, careful and quiet. Shh. Okay, go! What are you doing? Just go! Can I help you? Um, hello, sir. I'm here to uh ask if you'd like to uh donate to the Akron Children's Theater Camp. The Akron Children's Theater Camp. <sighs> well, uh, I've always supported theater in the past. How much are the donations? Ten dollars. There you go. Awesome. Thanks. No problem. Hey, and will you be careful walking around with all that cash? Yes, sir. I will. Bye. What the heck were you doing? I was handling it. Never mind. Let's just get back home. We have to figure out what our next move is going to be. Right. Come on. Dad, you seriously need to get organized. Why don't you get yourself a briefcase? Because briefcases are pretentious and bureaucratic. What? That should be everything. Okay, the production meeting shouldn't last any more than three hours. So I should be back by nine. No guests in the house. You may go outside, but stay on this street. Chelsea, look after your brothers. Okay. I'm off. I love you. Stay out of trouble. Break a leg! You don't say break a leg for a production meeting. I do. <laughs> what is that? I think it's Miss Wolf's earring. I found it today when we were at her house. What did you say? Let me see it. What? I told you not to go over there again. It is her earring. I remember, she was wearing it the other day. Zach! Maybe it fell off when he put her body in the car. He put her body in a car? No, David. Maybe. No one's body is in a car. Zachary, you lied to me. You promised me you wouldn't go back over there. I had to. This is important. Go to your room. What? You can't send me to my room. Go to your room or I swear I'll call Dad. I'm not making this up. I know what I saw. Now or never. Time to find some evidence. Sick! Where do you think you're 
going. Shh, keep your voice down. I'm going to find some proof. Snow's out. Don't go back over there. I'm going to be okay. No. Trust don't. me. Don't go. We can stay down there the whole time, all right? I'm in. Be careful. Zach, get out of there. He's back. Maintain radio silence. Repeat, maintain radio silence. George Kessler's son, aren't you? Zachary. Yes, ma'am. Well, what in the world are you doing here? I, uh, I, I saw that your door was left open when... Lucas? Yeah, when he left out. So I came over here to close it, but I came inside first. And I guess I sort of panicked when I heard the car. So I hid. Well, you didn't have to hide. I would have understood. All right, I'll, I'll be sure to tell your father that he has a very responsible son. Responsible? He nearly broke my leg. Oh, hush, Lucas. Your leg is fine. Go put some ice on it. You see, Lucas is my son. He's an actor, if you couldn't already tell by the dramatics. He came over to watch my house for me while I was in New York talking to some producers about, about a play that I'm writing. Uh, but the other night, I heard arguing coming from your house. Arguing? Oh, that. <laughs> yes, well, Lucas suggested that we act out a scene that I was having a, a problem with. I named the villain after him. Yeah. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it hadn't been for you meddling kids. <laughs> it, it was your play? Yes. You see... It's a... murder mystery. going on? I thought I saw Miss Wolf get out of the car. Alpha 2, I'm okay. Everything's okay. Wait until I tell you what happened. Dad says I should keep a journal. Not a journal about my cases, but a real journal about the things I experienced and learned. I said that was a great idea. So for my first entry, I just want to write that I sure learned a lot these past two days. I learned that my little brother can actually be a lot of help. I just have to give him a chance and be a little more patient. After all, he is just a kid. But most importantly, I should always listen to my dad and do what he tells me because he knows what he's talking about and just wants what's best for me. 
Oh yeah, and I should wait until I have all the facts before jumping to conclusions. Hey, you know, I should start my own detective agency. I can get some awesome material for my future mystery novels. Look out, criminals, because Detective Zachary Kessler is on the job. Once I get another case, that is. And it's just a matter of time.